and welcome back to the online course building cost estimate building cost estimation simplified this video is a continuation of the previous video in this video we will continue from where we left off in the previous one we saw in the previous video as to how to take the quantities of various items of a room we continue with the same in this exercise in this video and we will be following the same exercise please remember handouts have been given uh for this exercise in the handout section uh you are requested to please download them and to go through the same let's start with the lesson so previously we had uh, done the measurement uh, the computation of the quantities up to the brick working superstructure now we look at uh, the rcc in slab so we are meaning the roof slab here so for this we will uh, have to look at the dimensions of the roof slab let's check the Uh, elevations and the plans for this so in the roof slab um we saw the dotted line around the plan that represents the roof slab and we know that uh, up to the wall the end of the wall is 8.2 meters and we also saw in our uh, section that the roof slab projects by 0.1 meters on both the sides so for the for our dimension purpose the roof slab would be 8.2 meters plus uh, 0.1 on this side and 0.1 on this side so it would be 8.4 meters as length similarly when we look at the width of the room we have the outer wall to outer wall as 4.2 meters and then we we have a projection of uh, the dotted line which represents the roof slab is at 0.1 meters on both sides so uh, the dimensions of dimension of the roof slab would be 4.2 plus 0.1 on one side and 0.1 on the other side it would be 4.4 when we look at uh, we've got uh, two dimensions the length and the breadth of the roof slab so in this we can we can see uh, it's 8.4 meters which is outer to outer edge of the roof slab and the thickness of the roof slab is 0.1 meters so we've got three dimensions in place let's look at the excel sheet now so the rcc in slab is 8.4 which is the outer dimension and uh, with outer length and the and 4.4 is the width the breadth and the thickness of the slab is 0.1 so we've got the dimension as 0.1 8.4 into 4.4 into 0.1 next we look at the item rcc so the rcc is we know that rcc is reinforced cement concrete rcc in lintels uh, uh, over d1 and w1 both on door 1 and the lintels on doors and windows are computed as separate items we first look at the item door and we saw in our plan there are two two doors so the number is mentioned here as 2 and now what we have to look at is the length breadth and height of the um height of the lintels above the door so let's let's look at the um, the drawings now So in the drawing, we have the uh, the length of the lintel band, the RCC lintel band, as 1.3 meters. We also have the depth as 0.1 meters. What is the width? Uh, to understand the width, maybe we'll have a we we'll, we will look at a schematic representation of lintel so that we get an idea of how to find the width of the band. So we've got we have got two dimensions here. One is 1.3 meters, and the thickness 0.1 meters. We are going to look at the third dimension. dimension we have an example of a lintel beam here and it is got a projection from uh, the lintel beam for our uh, understanding we're going to be focusing on this portion so we have the thickness of the lintel and what is the width the, we see that the width of this is is the same as the brick wall thickness in our case we know that the brick wall is 0.2 meters thick and so for our purpose the lintel would be uh, the width of the lintel would be 0.2 meters we look at this in the excel sheet so we back to the excel sheet and the rcc in lintels over d1 we saw how we got the dimensions 1.3 and 0.1 and 0.2 is the brick wall thickness which is uh, which is uh, the breadth of the lintel itself the lintel is in flush with the brick wall so we have the quantity uh, the different dimensions of the rcc lintels over d1 now we look at the next item that is rcc in lintels over w1 uh, the window we will we will just take uh, 
the dimension over window one because it's a typical window and it gets repeated um repeated four times so uh, we take the number as four and now let's look at the dimensions of the lintel beam over w1 so we go back to the drawing so in our drawing we see that the lintels over windows uh, and doors are the same so we have for the doors it's 1.3 by 0.1 it's the same as uh, the lintel 1.3 by 0.1 so we have common uh, lintels over doors and windows, common type of uh, lintel, I mean. And so we can take the same dimensions as we took earlier. So uh, the window and door lintels are of the same dimensions. Therefore, RCC in lintels over W1, uh, we it's four numbers. Cubic meters is a unit of measurement. Length is 1.3. Breadth is 0.2, which is the brick wall uh, breadth and the height is 0.1. Next we look at the plinth filling under floor. And the first item under that is uh, the rammed earth. So let's see how the rammed earth measurement is taken. So for this we'll again go back to the section drawing. So we are at the, on the section drawing and uh, we have the outer dimension of the room as uh, 8.2 meters, which we have seen in our previous uh, in the plan. So the dimension from the outer wall to the outer wall is 8.2 meters. And uh, for the purpose of filling, we are, we have to exclude the brick brickwork that is on both the sides. So the total brickwork is 8.2. Uh, the outer dimensions of the brickwork is 8.2, and we have to subtract two brick thickness to get this. Uh, ram dot. So for that we have to subtract 8.2 minus 0.2. Again we will subtract one, the other wall thickness which is 0.2. So we get as get it as 7.8 meters. So we have put in 7.8 meters as the length. Now let's look at the breadth. Uh, to find the breadth of the earth filling, the ram dot. So we have, uh, we're looking at the building from this side. We have the outer dimensions as 4.2 meters, outer wall to outer wall. And what we have to find is that, uh, we saw in the section that the brick, the brick work, the width of the brick, brick wall on both sides will be drafted. So basically we'll be only having the internal dimensions of the room, uh, because, uh, that's a, that is the only, the only, uh, area that we will be filling with earth. So uh, for that we find we have to subtract from the outer dimensions of the width of the room, that is 4.2. Uh, we have to subtract 0.2 on one side and 0.2 on another side, which will be 4.2 minus 0.2 minus 0.2 and that will be 3.8 meters. So we have 3.8 meters as the breadth of the rammed earth under the plinth filling. Now, how do we find the dimension of the plinth filling in rounder? For that, we will refer to the section drawing. In order to understand the thickness of the rounder, the height, the height that we have to find out, what we refer to is a section drawing of the foundation. So, the section in the section drawing, we see that the rounder is uh, from the ground level to 0.38 meters uh, level. And so this is the level of the round earth. So this is this is the thickness. This is the quantity that we take to our Excel sheet to find out the uh, total quantity of round earth. So we carried on the 0.38 meters onto the uh, item round earth. So 7.8 into 3.8 into 4.38. The next quantity that we are going to look at is the sand filling under floors. Uh, of, for 150 mm thickness. Again, uh, sand filling, like in plinth filling, we are going to take the inner dimensions of the room. So we take over, carry over 7.8 and 3.8 as we did in the previous item. And what remains to see is the, what is the height of that particular item, sand filling. We've seen that it is 150 mm thickness and we can get that from the drawing also. We look at the foundation drawing. We see that above the rammed earth, rammed earth is still here. 
we have uh, 150 mm sand filling and this is 150 mm and we have to co convert it into meters and so it becomes 0.15 meters so that is item number 10 sand filling under floats next is item number 11 uh, cement concrete 1 is to 3 is to 6 uh, for 75 mm thick so for that we again refer to the foundation section uh, the dimension of the inner areas area the inner dimensions of the room that is maintained as it is so 7.8 and 3.8 is the same for the cement concrete also because this is only within the four walls of the room this uh, what we are discussing now the rammed earth and cement uh, the sand filling and the cement concreting for the base of the flooring is all only for the internal dimensions of the room so 7.8 by 3.8 and then we have uh, 75 mm, which is uh, 0.075 meters, because we are going in the we have been using the unit meters. So we take it as 0.075. The next is the flooring material. So this is uh, cement concrete flooring, 38 mm thick. So that has been uh, mentioned here. Again, we take the internal dimensions of the room, 7.8 by 3.8, and then we know that it is 38 mm. A thick cement concrete flooring and so for our purpose we use it as 0 0.038 because we are using the measurement of meters so that is uh, the the substructure uh, we've been uh, looking at how to take the quantity of the substructure now we move on to the superstructure and we will be looking at uh, the dimensions of the doors the next item that we are looking at is the uh, wooden frames in doors this is item number 13 and it has been specified that the frame size of the door is 75 mm by 100 mm and uh, we are looking at uh, the door single door that we have in the section and uh, in order to find the total length of the frame we know that we have to find the uh, the height of the door and the width of the door so the height of the door as we as we can see in the drawing is uh, 2.13 the height of the frame is 2.13 so one side of the frame the length is 2.13 and the opening the width of the door frame is 1 meter so this length is 1.1 1 meters 1 meter and then we have the 2.13 on the other side and uh, we don't have a fourth side for a frame so we just have three sides so which means 2.13 plus 2.13 plus 1 which is equal to 5.26 that is the outer the, the width of the outer the length of the outer frame of the door and since we have two doors in the drawing we take the unit as 2 and the uh, and the uh, length is again 5.26 point 0.1 is the uh, point one is the thickness of the frame that has been that has been given to us 75 mm into 100 mm uh, so 100 mm is 0 0.1 meters and uh, point zero seven five is the thick uh, is a dimension of the wooden frame that is given to us 75 mm so that is 0 0.075 so that's how we get the uh, quantity of the wooden frame now we are going to look at the wooden frame in the windows so for this we have to uh, again the it specified that the wooden frame in windows is um, 75 mm by 75 mm and uh, for this we look at the uh, first we find total length of the wooden frame so uh, we know that the let's look at this window the width is 1 meter so 1 plus uh, 1. Point 38 is the height of the window again 1 meter plus 1.38 meters so that is the uh, out, the di length of the, the the dimension the length of the wooden frame so it becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1.38 plus 1.38 which, which is equal to 4.76 we have four windows in the room which we saw in the plan earlier so we have 4.76 and 0 0.075 and 0 0.075 is, are the uh, the dimensions of the wooden frame that has been given to us. The cross section of the wooden frame is 75 mm by 75 mm. So converting them into meters, it becomes 0 0.075 into 0 
The next item that we are look, going to look at is item number 15, fully glazed shutters for window. So inside the window, the shutters are glazed and we are going to find out the dimensions of the shutters. Again, the number of windows is 4 and so we mention it as 4. So in order to find the glazed surface, what we look at is the uh, what is the inner inner uh, width of the uh, inside the frame. So it becomes 0.85, and we can see it from the drawing. It is it is 0.85, and the inner the height of the uh, the shutter is uh, 1.23. So for uh, the fully glazed shutters, it the area uh, the unit is square meters, and point. And so we have the length is 0.8 meters, and the height is 1.23. Now we look at wooden shutters for the doors. Um, this is item number 16. Again, because we have two doors, we take the measurement as two. We take the number as two, and the area is square. The unit of measurement is square meters. And we we are talking about the shutter and not about the frame. So we exclude exclude the frame of the door. And excluding the frame of the door, the width of the shutter is 0.85 meters. So we have 0.85 meters. Now the uh, height of the door uh, is uh, 2.05 that is excluding the frame so 2.05 is the shutter uh, height so we have uh, 2.05 in the in the column of height next we have uh, cement concrete skirting uh, it is not shown in the drawing but uh, it's of height 0.15 centimeter of it's 15 uh, it's 0.15 meters thickness and the uh, the 23.2 is uh, as we know the internal perimeter of the room so we have uh, the cc skirting as 23.2 and 0.15 as the height now 15 now item number 18 is 15 mm cement plaster finishing for internal walls So item number 18, 15 mm cement plaster finishing in internal walls. So for this we again have the internal dimensions of the room, 7.8, um, plus 3.8, that is the total perimeter of the inner walls of the room, multiplied by, when it is multiplied by 2, then we have 23.2. So that is the total uh, length of the uh, room interiors. And we know that the height of the room is 2.9 meters that we have seen from our, that we can see that from the section. So the inner dimensions of the room, the perimeter of the room into the height of the room, that is the quantity of uh, cement plaster finishing in internal walls. So we have 23.2 and as the length and the height is 2.9 meters. And uh, that is the entire wall of the room. Now we need to deduct for the doors and windows and we have two doors um, and the, we know that the height of the door is 2.13 by and the width of the door is 1 meter. So 2.13 by 2.13 into 1 will be deducted that is 2. Point, uh, the deduction and then we multiply by 2 because there are two doors. So this is a quantity that will be deducted. deducted. Similarly for windows, there are four windows and what we do is we deduct the area of the windows from the plastering uh, area. So again, the width of the window is uh, 1 meter. As we can see from the, uh, from the drawing, the window width is 1 meter. And so uh, the quantity that we need to deduct from the cement plastering is 1 into 1.38 into 4. So this whole area is where the plastering takes place and from that the spaces for the windows, both the windows and the doors, not both the windows, there are four windows and doors are deducted. Next we look at the cement plastering finish for the exterior walls and for exterior walls um, we have the dimension, we look at the dimensions of the room again. For the external walls, we know that the dimensions are 4.2, 8.2, 4.2 and 8.2 again. So the whole uh, perimeter of the external surface is uh, 4.2 plus 8.2 plus 4.2 plus 8.2. So for the purpose of exterior plaster finish, we will be taking this dimension. 
for the plastering surface when we have um, uh, we have the external surface for plastering that is 24.8 that's the perimeter of the external wall and the height is uh, how do we find the height so we well, the way we find the height is um, we know that uh, from the top of the at the from the terrace level to the plinth level is 3 meters and then uh, the plinth height is 60 centimeters so the total uh, height of the room is 3.6 meters and from that we did deduct the thickness of the slab uh, we we are not considering plastering of we are not plastering the slab and so we have uh, 3.6 minus 0.1 that is 3.5 meters as the height and again similar to the previous case we deduct for doors and windows same as in the case of uh, internal plastering and uh, we have 2.13 and 1.3 deducted for doors and windows respectively next we are looking at whitewashing uh, this is same as item number 18 which is the inner plastering and uh, in this uh, the for the interior we add for ceiling so uh, for the ceiling we have to find out the inner uh, basically we are looking at the inner dimensions of the room uh, for this is the same as the ceiling dimension which is 7.8 by 3.8 now color washing outside same as item number 19 which is the cement plastering of uh, external walls so for that uh, we do the same as uh, item number 19. Now the next item that we are looking at is painting of doors and windows for door shutters each side. Um, so for this we have uh, two doors and there are two shutters for each door. Uh, th there, as in, there are two doors and uh, there are two sides to each shutter. There are two sides to paint, and so we have uh, we find the width of the shutter, which is 0.85, and the height of the shutter is 2.05. So uh, the uh, painting of door shutters on both sides is two into two. One is to uh, to represent the number of doors, and one is for the shutter number of shutters. So two in, the sides of the shutter, two into two, and 0.85 and 2.05 are dimensions that we get from the drawing. Next, we look at uh, the door frame. Next, we look at the uh, door frame and uh, painting of the door frame. And if I, first of all, we look at the front side of the frame. There are, uh, uh, we take the factor as 2, and then we have 5.26 as the length. How do we get that? For that, we look at the, we are talking about outer frame. So, we have 2.13 as the height, and then we have 1 meter. We add that, then we have one more height. So it becomes 2.13 plus 1 plus 2.13, and that becomes 5.26. We know that the cross section of the frame is point, uh, 0.075 into 0.075, and so this become we take uh, the uh, dimension as 0.075, and uh, that becomes the uh, input for the painting of the door frame. Now, um, because there are two sides to it, the inner and outer side of the door frame, so we multiply it by 2. Similarly, for the rear side of the frame, we have uh, again 5.26 and 0 0.075 and we multiply by 2, whereas here 2 is the number of the doors that we have. This is the case in the previous one also. Um, I had wrongly mentioned it as both the sides of the frame. That's not the case. This, is, th this represents the number of doors we have. We have two D1s. Next, we have rebate side of frame. And we know what the rebate is, uh, the inner portion of the frame. And for this, uh, what we do is um, we find that uh, again 2.05, the and 2.05 is the inner uh, is the inner dimension of the frame, the inner dimension of the door. And then um, we have uh, the 0.85 as the inner uh, frame to frame width. And so that is also added. So this is the rebate side. The uh, the rebate side is taken as 2.05 plus 0.85 plus 2.05 meters. So that we, we get 4.95 and the uh, and the uh, thickness is 0 0.1. 
now we look at the window frame and for window frame what we do is uh, we find uh, the dimensions we have four windows so we have the number four in all similar in the similar way we find uh, 4.76 is uh, 1.38 plus uh, 1 meter plus 1.38 plus 1 meter we look at this window for clarity so we get uh, 4.76 Similarly, uh, the cross-sectional area, we have uh, the frame width as 0 0.075 and 0 0.075 in both the cases. Now, for the rebate side of uh, the frame, it's uh, 1.23 plus uh, 1.23 plus 0.85 plus 0.85. For the rebate side, we'll be looking at the inner dimension of the uh, inside the frame. So, 1.23 and uh, 1.23 on one side, then 0.85 of one side, 1.23 again, and 0.85 again. So we get 4.16, and we have the cross section, uh, the uh, the th width of the thickness of the frame as uh, 0.075. So we get that in the uh, the thickness part. So four because there are four windows, we multiply it by four. The next is uh, bitumen uh, painting on top of the slab and for this uh, we take the outer dimension which is 8.4 and 4.4 and that's the that is uh, measured in square meter. Uh, we have not mentioned it here. It's measured in square meter and that is the square meter area of bitumen painting. Similarly for lime concrete and terracing uh, for uh, which is for 10 centimeters thick we again have the same dimensions 8.4 and 4.4. And then we have the square meter area, the unit of measurement as square meter area. Uh, so to summarize, uh, in this video lesson, we had uh, we were looking at the taking the quantities of uh, various items in a building, and uh, we saw we went into the detailed aspect of it. And our video lesson was uh, split into two parts. In the first part, we discussed up to the brickwork. The, uh, the measurements, how to take the quantities up to brickwork and the remaining of that, we uh, saw it in our, uh, in, our uh, in our second video. So when we go back and uh, see how we did today's video lesson, we first uh, looked at uh, the various plans and drawings that were given to us. And we had a plan, we had a section, we, had, uh, we looked into plan and then we look at, looked at elevation. We looked at the section and then we compared, uh, we found out the information that were available. We also looked at the uh, the footing, uh, the section of the footing as to find out uh, what was the dimension of quantities below the substructure. And from that we took the information available, we took all the information available to find out quantities. And based on this we arrived at uh, various quantities on an Excel sheet. So that was our video lesson for today.